Hello everyone, welcome to another installment of the Dark Academia Diaries, my little vlog series about my life as a university student, lover of books, art, and all things cozy. This episode, I thought it would be fun to show you a typical day in my life as a student at the University of Amsterdam. I get up around 8 in the morning and then get myself ready to go to uni. Good morning. It's the morning. I'm gonna go to Amsterdam, to the University of Amsterdam, because that's where I'm doing my master's degree in biomedical science. And I'm currently focusing on big data analysis. I don't live in Amsterdam because that's impossible. <laughs> so I have an hour commute every day to the University of Amsterdam, just taking the train and the metro. An hour is might be considered very long, but it's pretty neat because I just have the time to chill and do other things. For example, I always have a book with me in my bag so I can just read on the train whenever I want. For example, right now I have Biranesi by Susanna Clark. This is a really interesting, very atmospheric, mysterious fantasy story about this person who's in this huge house with all these halls and statues and they don't know the outside world but slowly they get these little hints of things existing outside of the house. It's very interesting. So I'm currently reading this one. I will admit that I don't really read as much on the train as I would like because very often I fall asleep when I try to read on the train. <laughs> so often I also just kind of like listen to music or just scroll the internet. I think last week when I was on the train I used my time to research Zelda theories just on Google. So there are many ways to use your time on the train. <laughs> I also take with me my big old laptop because most of the things that I do during class is on the laptop because I have to do like coding and statistics and stuff so that's coming with me as well. It's very big and heavy because it also needs to be able to process my games and my editing software. <laughs> I just <laughs> I noticed that the the next few lines that I wrote in the script for the voiceover really sound like they could be the first few lines in a young adult dystopian novel so that's great <laughs> here goes at around 9 in the morning I walk to the train station to hop on the train to Amsterdam it's the year 2021 which means universities aren't completely back to the way they were before the pandemic my course currently practices a kind of hybrid education where every other day I come to uni to work on site and the other days I work from home and attend lectures and ask questions online. But today was an on-site day so I am taking the train. I personally really enjoy this style of education because you still see other students and can ask questions in person, but also having some days at home saves me a lot of time and energy from traveling. Most
most of my classes are in the Amsterdam Medical Center, aka the hospital, so I'm not really on a typical uni campus. Gotta hydrate, very important. <laughs> So here's a rundown of what I typically do at a day at university. Every day I have class from 10 to 5 in which we will get a lecture and then spend most of the day working on assignments. We're learning to do medical analyses using statistical coding languages like R or Bash and most of my time my screen looks something like this or like this. <laughs> I keep track of my university stuff in Notion as always. Here is my homepage. I don't spend a lot of time here. The most important thing is the list of all of my courses. For example, the course that I'm currently following is a genomics course, which means my screen when I'm working often looks like this. <laughs> this is DNA, a DNA sequence from a mouse or a worm. I'm not really sure, I don't really remember, but one of those two. So in Notion, I have an overview page of the genomics course with handy links that I often use and also a list of all of my lecture notes. For years, I've only ever taken notes with pen and paper, but since this course has so few lectures and is so practical and computer-based, I started taking digital notes. Then at half past four after class, I took the metro into the city center of Amsterdam to get dinner with a friend. It was still for my birthday and we went to a lovely Japanese restaurant. <laughs> Not a great angle. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I'm toast. I'm fried. <sighs> I'm really tired staring at the screen all day. <laughs> so this course is 10 to between 4 and 5 every single day because we're just doing practical work the whole day, doing statistics, coding, etc. And I, it, it, as you can imagine, you're kind of toast at the end of the day. The first week, last week, I was completely lost the whole time and I, I had to continue doing work in the evening almost every evening because I was very behind. But today, it was going quite well, actually. I feel like I'm slowly getting a grasp of what I'm doing. <laughs> it's 
so I don't have to be behind all the time. It's always just such a satisfying feeling when you notice that you're kind of getting the hang of it and you're starting to understand things that were just complete nonsense to you a few days ago, you know. Then after that, I had a really nice dinner with a friend of mine who also studies in Amsterdam. I had a katsu curry. I should eat Japanese more often because Ooh, that was really good. Obviously, this is not usually what my day looked like. This was just kind of an exception. Normally, I get home between five and six, and then usually I'll get some groceries on the way home, make dinner, and then after dinner, like right now, I will take some time to do a little bit of extra coursework that I didn't get to finish during the class. So that's what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> trying to bring some structure into my evenings by having like a clear evening routine that I do every day and I'm trying to do yoga every evening is not really happening um but I did it today and that's what matters but I really like using yoga as kind of a way to end my day if that makes sense so after dinner in the evenings like you just saw i usually take a bit of time to still finish some schoolwork or do some editing work for youtube but then when i'm done with that i will still have like a few hours before going to bed to just chill and do my own thing and i like to kind of end the working time by doing yoga so that i know after i do yoga and shower it's just chill time so for example things i do I can read a book. This usually happens like right before I go to bed. I am obsessed with playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. I know that I'm super late to the hype, but I only recently got a Switch and this is what I spent most of my evenings playing, at least for the past few weeks. This is what I've been playing almost every evening. But this evening, I don't really feel like playing actually. And I actually really feel like just watching a TV show. So I think I'm actually gonna go and rewatch a cartoon that I really love that I haven't watched in years but that is perfect for autumn and I'm gonna rewatch it now and I hope some of you guys recognize this show because I really think more people should watch it because it's amazing. So that's how I'm gonna be spending my evening just chill so I can sleep peacefully and have energy again for tomorrow. And 
that is how I end a day in my life as a student at the University of Amsterdam. Please let me know what other things you would like me to include in upcoming episodes of the Dark Academia Diaries. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss them. I hope you will have a wonderful day and I will see you soon in another video.